Well, hello, fellow worm farmers. This is Larry again with the Wiley Worm Farm, coming to you from Bolford, Georgia. Today is February the 9th, 2024. Well, we've got a new generation, a new, not a new generation, new decade going here. And we're going to go right into the worms. And, uh, well, I had some paper. I thought, I, I thought my paper was back gone, but I got a little bit of paper left in here. So I'm going to lift my paper up and see what the worms look like. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Look at there, Mr. Camper. See them worms right here? Good sized worms. I can, I can get them before they get away here. Looking good. Look at these. Are, these are pure red wigger worms, folks. Pure red wigger worms. And uh, the last time I looked in here, a couple of days ago, they got worms trying to escape over here, Mr. Cameraman. Trying to get away from me. A couple of days ago, I looked in here, and uh, they were out of feed, so I gave them a little bit of feed, as you can see right here. And uh, I left this uh, coffee ground, coffee filters over here off. Tear them up a little bit. I'll mix them in here with my feed. I'm going to give them a good little feeding here. Give them, I got a couple of bananas. My wife has bananas left over, so give them a couple of bananas. I got a little concern, folks. My blender tore for me. And uh, y'all hear my dog in the background. Don't pay him no attention. He just wants a little attention, a little loving. Look at the worms. Yes, sir. Look here at the worms. So I'm going to fluff them up good. And uh, give them a little feeding. I was telling you, my blender, my blender tore up on me, folks. So I can't blend my... Uh, chicken pellets like I would like to. So I'm gonna put them in here whole, but I'm gonna put a little moisture on them. And I think that'll help them to uh, get to where my worms can eat them. We will, this is an experiment. And also on this particular video, uh, I have now, I've now been in the worm farming business for over a year. In fact, the 17th of January was one year ago. I got my first worms. Got first got started off. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on what I've learned in one year of worm farming. I sure wish I'd have had somebody to mentor me. I found somebody later, but when I first started, I didn't know. And I had to learn everything on my own, an old buddy of mine that I've known for a long time. While I'm talking, I'll feed them these, these uh, bananas here. Old buddy of mine that I've known a long time. His grandfather was in the, uh, he raised worms back in the 60s and 70s. I knew his grandfather. So he advised me to get into worm business. So I went from there and got into worm business. And here we are now, we've been here one year. So what have I learned in one year? Number one, lesson number one, have plenty, plenty of good moisture. And uh, number two, do not overfeed your worms. Do not, I repeat, do not overfeed your worms. And then I have learned that worms love bananas. Now I normally like to, uh, freeze my bananas, but these were not frozen. These are just some I found there in the kitchen a while ago that my wife had laid aside. She don't like them when they get this this uh, ripe on her. She likes them a little greener. And I don't need a lot of bananas. I like bananas with peanut butter though. I like that. So I'm gonna put that in here and I got a little bit more peeling left over here. I'll put it in here. It's about gone. But uh, I'll put that in here and cover this up. And then I'm going to put some uh, chow, some worm chow. And again, this is just simply uh, worm pellets that I bought at the local Ace Hardware store. Show you what they look like here. Now, I've been, I've been blending them up. You got a shot of that, Mr. Cameraman? You got a light on there? I've been blending them up, but my blender went kapoop on me. So I'm going to have to get another blender. 
if my wife will let me have enough money. Now that I don't know about, folks. I don't know about the woman here. I don't know if the woman will let me have enough money. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little moisture. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to put a little moisture on these things. Now back to what I started to tell you about what I've learned in a year. Number one, you need plenty of good moisture in your worm bin. Good moisture. A lot of good moisture. I made a mistake. I thought I made a mistake on one worm bin I had. i got five now. Five worm bins. It's got... Oh, at least, at least a thousand worms per bin. Probably more. I probably got, uh, I probably got, oh, probably close to 10,000 worms by now. And they're growing. By the way, I'm going to have worms for sale about April. I'm going to start selling worms and I'm going to start selling casting. Everybody will be getting in their garden business by then, so I'm going to sell casting for the gardeners. But number one lesson, give good moisture in your bin. Make sure you got plenty of moisture. But uh, I thought I had, I thought I'd made a mistake and let my moisture get too, too high on me. But it wound up being a blessing. And I learned a lesson from that. So I'll spread my card, my, my paper over here, my newspaper. Now, one thing about worms, when they get hungry, this is their food. They love, they love paper. And of course, I don't, I don't have it in here now, but uh, I've got some cardboard that I have wet. I have uh, 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 got a lot of more strand. I'm going to put some cardboard later, but today I don't have the cardboard prepared. So I'm going to go with what I got because I needed to feed these worms, take care of these worms. My little baby's here. And uh, lesson number two. Do not overfeed your worms. So that's some two main lessons that I've learned in worm farming. And of course, another one is worms will double in population about, well, here I've done it again, Canberra man. I forgot to put my coffee ground and my eggshells in here, so I'll put some coffee grounds in here. Now they love coffee grounds. They love coffee grounds. So I give them good coffee ground. In their coffee grounds, it's good for the bedding as well, and, the, and they eat the coffee grounds as well. And these little filters make good for the bedding. I'll put one more here since I got plenty of filters here. And my eggshell. I need the eggshell because worms have, uh, they need this to get it get in their crawl. They have a crawl like a chicken does. So they need this to help process the food. All right, so I'll cover back up here, Mr. Cameraman. We're just about done here. There's one or two on the top right here. I think I'll move these underneath. I don't see any more. I hope there's not any more up there, but they'll find their way. If they are, they'll find their way back. All right, so I'll put a little moisture on that. And I'll put my bubble wrap on here. And here's another lesson I learned. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap helps you to maintain your moisture. If you don't have bubble wrap in your, in your bin, I, I encourage you to do so. Now this bin, Mr. Cameraman, if you back up and give it a little bigger shot of this, this particular bin, I started buying these bins. Uh, I buy mine from Lowe's rather than Home Depot simply because they cost just a little bit less at Lowe's. And uh, these bins are just the right size. Mr. Cameraman, give me a shot over here. This is my worm rack. This is where I keep all worms here. And this bin here goes right in here. And I've got another bin prepared down here in the bottom. I don't have any worms in here yet, but I got my bedding ready. I've got it, I'm keeping it moist. And uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll have, I got another thousand worms ordered from Mimi's Worms. And by the way, I will put a, a, a link at the bottom of this for Mimi's Worms where we can order pure red wiggers. I saw the other day where somebody did a video and they said, you have to be careful who you buy from because some people advertise red wiggers 
But what you actually get, and one of the larger producing ones in the U.S. that sells red wiggers, <clears throat> uh, he has a he has a mix. I don't want more mixed. I want pure red wiggers. So I'll put a link down where you buy from Mimi's Worms. And also I'll put a link down there for uh, Wiley Worm Farm. And if you, uh, I'd also, I'll also put my email address because some of you might want to order some worms or talk to me about that. So just, if you will, just email me. Well, that'll wrap it up for tonight. I appreciate you watching. If you will, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button. And I appreciate it. God bless you.